Okay. Save some for you? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get started then. Okay. All right. My assistant will be in shortly. So we'll start off with a collection update. First off, this beautiful box that I acquired here. It's awesome for holding the collection. In. Look at that. You're in? All right, that was quick. It does have this. to get that lab thing ready. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. All right, so we're gonna start top tray. Okay, what piece do you wanna talk about first? Mm. Some of these we've already kind of talked about. Is this something new about these? We can honestly but talk about these actually. You do want to talk about the beans? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to say about them? I like that you can like make different shapes like that. Mm -hmm. House. What else do you think you can make? I don't know, like ladder. Ooh, like like you can just do two um, beans. Yeah, a ladder like this. Like, this is not working. Yeah, put it right over here. So they can see. There you go. Oh my gosh. Can I really not get this thing connected? Ooh, yeah. A ladder like go. that, like, to climb up. Yeah. So now, some of the colors are fading on here. You see how it's not as bright purple, yellow, red, and green. Somebody told me that an alcohol wipe will help kind of bring that shine back because they were letting me know about this one and how to kind of upkeep... That color. This is the titanium coral, which is made by the same guy that made that. Wow. I feel I thought it was like all different people who made all different fidgets. Well, a lot of them come from all over the world. These ones come from New Zealand. Where did this guy come from? New Zealand. Because oh. yeah, the guy that makes these. This is Magnus McDonald. And he made these beans and he made these sliders. And that guy? Mm-hmm. Wow. Now this one I bought from somebody else who lived in the United States who bought this and then anodized it and made it purple. That's a process where they put it in a... I'm not going to pretend like I know how they do it, but they change the color of the metal. Oh. And... How do how do they build like these fidgets? How do they do that? Like how do they build these kind of things like that? The little plates on the inside. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I don't know how they exactly do the Teflon. These ones are resin, which means it starts out like as a liquid, and then they form it. And then there are. Oh, I don't have any. Oh boy. Draconium plates, but this this one I'm running with half Teflon and half the Cladis plate. It's an incredible I'm to see how long combo. This has been. How long it's been? Yeah. Do you think it's been too long or what? I can't even see it there. Mm, yeah, I know it's hard to see with that thing. My Zerk one I'm running with both Cladis plates. It's super nice. It does jump a little bit. Uh, By the way, what's the same as this guy, but just different colors. Yep, different color and different material. So let's hold yeah. right here. Uh, so this one's titanium this... and that guy's zirconium. Oh, I didn't notice this. I hope here, that guy all this guy right here. Guy. I, did, I didn't think it would be like this. So this guy has all that and that, but mm -hmm. this guy has the same bones. He's got the same exact bones, and that guy's got two different bones. Yeah, a bone for this side of his body, and a bone for this side of his body. Yep. So, yeah, that one jumps a little bit, but I always get all my magnets mixed up, so I think one of the corner ones is maybe not N52, but one of the lesser strength magnets, so I've got to order some more and just keep them... Officially separate. 
this guy. I was, These I are up. I love this guy. I put this guy way up to the camera. Did you? <laughs> These are a little sticky. Um, so they, they have kind of a wear in, um, you got to wear them in a little bit, but inside super awesome. And now they're going to make guy, stainless steel plates for those. But it's, so what's he got going on? Well, it's weird. This is cool about him. This hmm. guy has the same bone and the same as that guy. So those guys like have the same bones, <clears throat> mm -hmm. but this guy has two different bones. Now feel these. Feel this. That's kind of soft, and then that one's hard. Yeah, I bet it's because so they get so I bet that's how it's supposed to go because for his bones. Because I thought I had from him to say like he is. It was hard for him to walk, so he needed like the soft part for mm. his legs, and then a hard part for like a here. Oh, for his body. Yeah, so that's probably why it's hard and soft. So they this, he had to go to the doctor. If you're not using the the Cladis plates, the resin plates that came with, I think this Teflon and Zerk, like I wouldn't run and, both Zerk. It, it's a little gummy, and but this is something? perfect. Good Have sound you too. This? What? Have you noticed that one of them are lighter and one of them are darker? That's true, yeah, and I think that's just the material. Yeah, because which one was the soft one? This one. Mm -hmm. I think they had to make it just, that bone's just a bit lighter mm -hmm. so, like, they could see it. And when they did the X one on this guy, it was hard for, when they did it on that guy, it was hard for them to see it fast, so they had to mm. take his bone out and put a new bone in. Well, now, because this is a harder material, it yeah. doesn't wear as much. It will scratch yeah. easier. But these ones, you can almost see where the magnets are underneath because it's getting a little smooth in those spots. Yeah. Oh. So, so that's why we have some extra plates. Yeah, so it's like, they because for that hard one, mm -hmm. remember how, like, it was, it was hard for them to see through the x-ray? Mm-hmm. And that's why they had, so when they were putting that new bone in, that's when they got it lighter. Mm. But for the darkness, they never have to do an x-ray up there for him. So they can only keep it dark and it never has. So it's kind of like high, kind of. Okay. I already I like was smart from the doctor and it says, so that guy will never be, like, be had up here ever. That's kind of going to stay hard. Because he's got the hard bones? Yeah. So let's talk about these guys. This one is... Light up. Yeah, he's... Light and light up. So you know what they call that? What? Turbo glow. Whoa. Yeah. So this guy is really cool, and I put the ZZ plate in. Some people didn't realize um, it comes with two different size sets of balls. The smaller balls with the ZZ plate... And will give you better sound where the larger balls with the uh, regular plate will give you better sound for those. And I, I like that it came with two different types of plates. It comes with this one that has kind of a, a better texture for grip. And then it comes with the swirly spark style plate like this. And by the way, did you know the hmm. bones are different colors? This guy's is yellow because of the bottom right here. Oh, this guy's yeah. yellow because of the bottom right here. And this guy's red because of the bottom right there. Oh. And you can kind of see Let's his bones. You can kind of see his bones and kind of not see his bones. Yeah, he's not see-through. Yeah, right? but if you could turn it upside down, you can kind of see like his little like weird bones right there. Well, now, the inside of this guy, there's a clear one, a clear regular plate. And I don't have... Um, oh, no, I do. But uh, yeah, I'm not running it with the rig, the Ultim plate inside. I ran it with the whatever this is considered, just plastic. I don't know. But I put the clear plate in there. For, so this is easy. This is regular with the correct ball size in there. What? You can hear how good that sounds. No, Those are great. Guy. Okay, so this one. 
is the Moon Man. Shout out to Pluk uh, for helping me uh, get one of these after I missed the uh, drop on them. Um, so this guy is made by a guy in Russia. Oh, so he's made in Russia? Yeah. And this, isn't it weird when his bones look like? They're like little like spike, like the weird things. And, you have that texture on the inside? Yeah, and he has some magnets for, so his bones connect to every bone. That's why he's, every time there's a magnet, mm -hmm. that's his bone. And anytime it doesn't, the magnets are on there, it's the feel of brown. Oh, okay. So this guy, I mean, the machining on this is insane. 10 minutes and 15. Ivan rocks. Um, so yeah, and that texture. So you see how it's got a different pattern on that side where it goes all the way around, like a yeah. radial pattern. And this one is almost like sun rays. Oh, and now when those go together, you, c you get kind of a scratchy noise. Mm. And that's kind of the awesomeness of Compaform pieces. Speaking of, we got the Blue Flame here, the V3. And right away, they're almost the same, but just like almost different colors. <coughs> for like the... Oh, you're saying the size or what? Yeah, like they're almost the same of the this like... The look too, mm -hmm. because like that mm -hmm. one is a little hard flames, and this one has like stairs almost. Oh yeah. And this guy had and an X. Yeah. What's that one called? He's the Toad X. Toad X. Oh no, there's an X in there. It's, so this this one his bones. is a different. Yeah. So the bones of this guy are different than they were before. This is a new plate design. Um, Can I have it? It's not as scratchy as maybe the original V3 plates, but it's definitely a smoother uh, slide. So, his bones on side, mm -hmm. like the connecting on side, <laughs> like the part of his, like, Bones inside. Oh, yeah. Like, because the inside of this pot. Those are the connecting bones? Yeah. Okay. Did you pinch yourself? Yeah. Now, All right. So now we're going to take oh, yeah. that top off and let's talk about a couple of these pieces. Ooh, I did. Who do you want to do first? <coughs> this guy? Yeah. So we talked about him before, and I, I still like this guy, but this is the Ultim or Pi Noise from ACEDC. Can I talk about him now? Awesome sound. Yeah. So, and you can kind of see his bones, kind of, between two of here, see? Mm -hmm. Like you can see it. Yeah, like he's this. like transparent, kind of like this guy. Can you count how many well, bones? I, um, oh. Like a magnet, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen bones. So this guy had nineteen. Wow. And I don't know if I've ever talked about this guy, but he's got a really awesome, deep and click to him. A great mechanical sound. He does not turn, which a lot of people had issue with, but they really missed out if they did not go for this one just and because of that. I mean, it is really... Okay. These guys have the... Good. They have the same... But they have like the same things, the, mm -hmm. the same fidget, but like just the same body. Yeah, but like they have the same look on that body. Yeah. This is the uh, 
I thought it was called the piano slider. Apparently, it's called the brownie, I think. So, well, I got it. The only one that's a brown, it's called a brownie because, like, it kind of does look like a brownie. You think so? So, look at it. Would you eat it? No, it's a <laughs> fidget. <laughs> look inside it. Look at his bones. That his bones know. weird. Yeah, now he almost has, like, kind of a space. Um, techno kind of look to the inside of him and then he's got this uh it doesn't oh. feel like teflon it's almost plastic but so he has like this part is kind of like a different part of the bone and then when he slide it to here wait oh <laughs> so on different sides is like the same part <laughs> Like yeah. the same part yep. of the thing. Mm hmm. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> like straddling the fidget box. Hold on. Hold on. I want them to hear this one before we go to that one, okay? Not a ton of resistance on it? Yeah. But it's you know, a good, it, like, it slides pretty easy. No, anyway, it's sort of the, it's a piano slider because every time you were doing that, it did like a ding. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. I and can't... I that's the zirconium. That's the this black material. Yeah, did you hear it? Oh, yeah. Which part of his bones make that sound? It's just the um, reverberation of... The, um, the ball and the spring pushing up against it. So, it like, me, like that ball, like, hits it and, like, makes, like, a crash sound and it's, like, ding. Yep, and then when it echoes off the material. It comes out You get. Because. And you get a different sound. Yeah, because it's, like, because you scoot it. That's why it's and important. Then it comes out of there. Scoot it again. Yep. That's why it's important to try things in different materials because you never know. This and this and this and this and this and this, every single one of them has a different sound. But it's, you know, stainless steel, titanium, zirconium, uh, pi. So, you want to talk about this guy? So, and it's cool. Look at his bones. He kind of has, like, dots mm -hmm. for some of his bones. And you don't know what makes... It kind of stops. Hmm. Then, like, does it make sound and you're sliding it? I think it is. Oh, uh -uh. sorry, hold on. Those, like, balls. Oh, yeah, so. Oh, actually. Now, here's the cool thing about this guy is you can actually. Oh. Take that one ball out. And now it'll rotate for you. And this now, is called a pig nose slider. I didn't know you could take his bone out. Yeah. He's got yeah. removable bones. And now you want to put them back in? Yeah. Ah! Okay. Drop them right in one of those tracks. And what, And now, do you know what's cool to me? Huh. This. You can, like... Do you want to get them open again? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. And it... You almost get a louder noise... Yeah. When it's kind of given the... How about, should we take, like, all his, like, connect bones and see what it sounds Like, keep them in here and see what it sounds like, like when his bones, like, all in a broken spot. Okay. Like, take all his, like, magnetic parts and, like, take his bones off. Isn't, yeah, we like, could. I wonder what that Here, would sound uh, like. So this one is the pig nose slider. From Y E D C. Yeah, okay, I'm, look. I'm just gonna say, what's the name of it? Do you see? Yeah. It's got a pig nose on it. And it is made of black ceramic. It is a fingerprint uh, magnet. That's what I wanted to say. But a uh, really cool Wait, can you open it again? sound and feel, as Mike can you open would put it. Again? Feels like a shiny black urinal. This is what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> take. No, you can't take them out, though. They're glued in. All those magnets are glued in. Does it only one ball for him? Um, he's got more. He actually came with four Teflon balls. I put in a stainless steel one that kind of works. It kind of doesn't run very well on the ceramic, but the Teflon does very well. Can you do this, Dad? And then I'm going to talk really quick about... Uh, I underestimated these clown orange sliders because I didn't like the fact that they looked like crackers. But <laughs> this saltine one has been great because of the scratchiness of those plates. And so I thought, what the heck, I got this zirconium one, which is super heavy, but awesome, awesome, scratchy feeling with those plates. How can this guy get back in there? Get the guy back. Mm -mm. Definitely a cool piece. Go for the clown orange sliders. To you want to get the can ball I, back in? Can I talk about this guy? Yep. What I like about him, look at these bones. Do you like them? I love his bones. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a magnet. So, this is... Just a plate that's holding in these magnets oh. that you can see through. So are these like all the balls like in there? Um, they're not balls. They're like flat cylindrical mm -hmm. magnets. <laughs> can you see that? Do you see them? See? Look. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're inside the slider now. Now his bones, this is, those are his connecting bones. So like... Connect his bones in together. Mm. See? Like that. See oh, that? yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about these guys. Which one do you want to hold? There's a blue one. This is blue brushed titanium. Yeah. <clears throat> and that one is stainless steel. These are 42 Cosmo. Um, they're essentially a variation of the mermaid uh, inlay. That mechanical inlay. But you get a much deeper sound because of the width of that. So this is a lighter sound, but definitely it's a little more pocketable. Okay. Still really good good pieces and kinda cool. Cool and through. let's look at his bones now. Can you okay. open this one? Uh, I can't without a tool. Oh. So, look at yeah, his bones. Look at these. Mm -hmm. Aren't these cool? Like, bones? Oh. I feel like they're cool. Oh. Okay. Well, I do now, like that. I want to do, I want to do this one fast. Oh. Okay. So, so now let's move it over a little bit. We've talked about these guys. Should we we have talked about him. We, we haven't talk talked about this one. Should we talk about these guys again? Like, um, I'd say how long is our video? I think we're getting getting up there. So let's stick to the newer guys. This one is called the Skelly, and it is a version of the Cladis slider. You can actually see, or yeah, you can see the. Wait, Dad. Magnets through the mesh. Oh, this one I didn't talk about. These guys. Oh, the bubbles? Yeah. We've talked about those guys yeah. before, I think. <coughs> um, this is... <coughs> you alright? What? Awesome sound. Very crunchy. It's almost the same. It's this guy, but like almost like an oval. Yep. See and that, guys? And now, <laughs> you see that guy? And now this guy also glows in the dark too, which is awesome. Oh, cool. This one is called the Quill. Now, this is a new one. Can I feel him? Mm -hmm. yep. 
it's like the waffle almost because it's the sweet well, plates. Look at so that's his bone. That's like the padding of his bones. The pattern of his bones. Yeah. So, yep, it is three plates. Uh, it's a bit pinchy. Yeah, he just pinched me right here. Did he? Yeah. Um. It's got a great. I like Loud you, noise even though, to it, but yeah, when it comes around, it'll get you. Yeah, when if what if it could um like yeah when it comes like close <laughs> like when it literally walks if it walked to you and you start to hold it and you like if you didn't know it was a pinch at and you were just sliding it and it pinched you and you didn't know like it pinched you really hard yeah. I bet you would honestly just like leave it and run away. Mm. That's what I would do. So this one, um, it's a good start for sure. I mean, oh boy, I didn't know those came out. Look at you finding out some new stuff. Um, Am I a good like fidget, like finding stuff so yeah, you, you can know stuff? You're my fidget explorer. Yeah, this is um, has a lot of promise. I really think that I could see this being refined over time and really be awesome. It's a little, with the 3D texturing, um, it's, uh, it's maybe a little rough on the hands. After a while, and then just that that pinching factor. That's always kind of a a hurdle to overcome for new 3D printers. But good piece. Got a purple band aid. I don't in. think I like this Boobie guy, boy. but I, this is what I like about him. Okay. I like about this is what I like about him, and he has like a good like thing to him, like a good feel. Okay. This skin feels really good. Look. Yeah. Oh, you took out the divider. Um, the Extendo Boy, <clears throat> I won't say it's my favorite of Jason's stuff. I like that uh, I can replace, I can use this middle plate with the Boob Boy I have seems to work a little better. I don't know if it's just the strength of the magnets for this version. It's a little a little wild for me. But certainly a cool look. It's got this kind of curved, almost barrel shape and feeling to it. And I love the filament, that green to blue look. Oh, thanks for reorganizing that. And this, I mean... What I like about this guy is that he's like... That he's like teal and a blue. Ugh. Teal and blue? And you can, I like his bones. Yeah? No, he's he's cool. Yeah. I, I wouldn't joke you if I... I wouldn't joke you if I had these. I wouldn't... I'd be like, that guy... He wouldn't joke me? How much was that guy... How much was this guy? To buy. Um, I think he was thirty dollars. Wow. Yeah. Like, um. So this slides even better than the first one that I had. So he's always refining, and I like that about his pieces. Um. This one is a, a version of the arcade boy. It's the Seiya boy. I I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that pattern on there. At first, I thought this was supposed to be like a cough drop, and it was the Say Ah Boy. <laughs> I asked him <coughs> if he had any more of the medicine sliders. He didn't know what I was talking about, but it's because this is that's a Japanese name for this pattern. Um, that's a, a good one. 
Can I, say, can I tell you what I like about him? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. What I like about him is that there's like that dot right there. Mm-hmm. I'll hold it right, right so I can see. And he's yeah. really cool, and I like his bones. The yeah. black bones. And then last black but not least. Blackberry bones. Blackberry bones. <laughs> This is the lollipop, which didn't get sold widely, but uh, you can find it on AliExpress. It's just kind of like one of those no-name... He does look like a lollipop. Can I see it? Yeah, because of this. You see that on the front? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and I just got the... I think it's only in stainless steel. But it's an interesting little mechanical guy with... Some different noise and function. So I've kind of liked having him around. He's interesting. After the video, I'm gonna eat some popcorn. Popcorn? After the video. You're kidding me. All right. Well, I guess we gotta go then. Cause we have to eat popcorn. We gotta go eat popcorn. So thank you, everybody, for what. Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Do you want to say anything? No. Do you want to say like, uh... Goodbye. All right. And remember, everybody, this is very important. Always.